Hello, Scorpio. This is Jeffrey. This is Ripe Color. Um, I literally just started a Scorpio reading and I pulled the computer down so far that I turned it off. So that it was not the reading you were supposed to get. It's also spiritual. <laughs> Please like, subscribe, share, comment, press the bell for notifications. I'm offering 30-minute um, readings for $30. And the funny thing is, is like before I even started the reading, I said, we have to be flexible. And then I looked at the camera and I said, I hate being flexible. <laughs> it doesn't matter whether I don't like it or not. <laughs> so there you go. It'll be interesting to see if we get the same cards. Okay. Keep on shuffling. And maybe that wasn't the reading for you anyway. Let's see, so I sort of remember. I sort of remember. Yeah, I do remember. Okay, let's see what happens. One, two, three. Now you get different parts. Okay. One, two, three. Okay, we get the five going into the six. We get the five going into the six. That's what I. Okay. Um, lots of lots of people involved in the soup, you know. So, I know you know, or maybe you don't know. I'm a Scorpio, and um, I'm a very Scorpionic Scorpio. However, I have Virgo rising, so I really have a lot of Virgo energy too. <laughs> Virgo and the Scorpio are actually a good combo. Um, so not only do I like to be in charge, right? Um, and I'm very tenacious and I come at it from this mental place and an emotional place. But, um, I, you know, I have this energy for me of my way or the highway. Okay, fine. This is the energy of, it's my kitchen, right? And you're gonna come in and tell me how to cook. Really? <laughs> I'll put you in the pot. How's that? Okay. So there's this energy of, well, it could be either a conflict or it could be just a lot, a lot of different opinions, a lot of different uh, ideas, you know? But what I'm really getting is, you know, everyone's gonna have their opinion. Look, just because somebody has an opinion different from me, doesn't mean that it's not valid. It doesn't mean that I can't take what's good from it and sort of incorporate it into my idea. However, at the end of the day, you have the final judgment. At the end of the day, um, Gabriel is going to talk to you, right? The messages, the angel messages. The interesting thing about this is like there's some there's a like a certain karmic almost conclusion to it, a new understanding. So I feel like this, this is the second to last card in the deck. So like there's a, um, like a lesson learned, a deeper understanding because the deck is really about like, it, it, it's a, a symbolic reference to one's life or a chapter of one's life, right? So, and here they're being reborn. So it's like they concluded their lesson or their karma or their, or not they concluded it, but they, um, like they graduated in a way. And so there's gonna be a certain, I don't know, graduation, a, a certain um, understanding this week 
you know, it's almost like um, an evolution. And maybe it has to do with conflict. Maybe it, you know, maybe there's a, um, an energy of, you know, everyone doing their thing and you're like dealing with conflict in a different way or dealing with other people's opinions in a different way, in a, in a more mature way, I guess. And then we get, I love this card. This is a great card. So this is what is considered victory. It's also about perseverance and it's about perseverance in, um, you see how all the swords are like all over the place here. So it doesn't really make a shape. It's like, it's coming diagonal and vertical and horizontal. And it's like, nothing makes any sense. And then, because you're gonna be able to put it together in your head and have a new awareness and a new understanding, right? Almost like a rebirth. Then all of a sudden they all get straight. They all get like, you're gonna get, I feel like this is direct messages. And, you know, this is also about, um, I don't wanna say fame, recognition, recognition. So I think there's going to be a recognition internally and perhaps a recognition externally as well. It's a nice week. It's a lot better than the other. The other cards, like, they didn't make sense together. And it was like, oh, what's the story here? And then I just... So roll with the punches. Be, be flexible and, you know, listen to you now sometimes things in your life, it's like you're getting a million messages from the outside world. You know, it's either, you know, people, you know, or maybe you're watching, you know, something you saw on, you know, on media or something you witness on the street, et cetera, et cetera. And I feel like for some reason this week, you're gonna be able to discern and make a decision and may, and like almost take it in. You know, you don't have to be involved in the conflict. You don't have to be involved in the, it's like, let it, let it all, um, be ground down in a way to its essence and then put it together and make a decision and, you know, get clear messages. So maybe at the beginning of the week, it's gonna be like, ah, yeah, yeah. and then it's like, oh, okay. You know, now things settle after a while and then it's like, oh, okay. So, Allow that to be. Judgment's a wonderful card. It's a wonderful card. And it's very, I always feel with this one, it's, this is really Gabriel. And Gabriel, you know, comes through with like a clear message, with a clear message. So, you know, listen to your higher self. And also, you know, Gabriel, I feel is very, um, he's in a certain way, it, it, um, it's auditory, so like to hear. Okay, that's what I'm getting. I'm glad I did Scorpio next. I, I never know who I'm gonna do. You know, I begin the begin, I do a different order every week. I usually keep it together by, um, by elements, you know. So first I did air and then I decided to do water. And when I was first starting, I said, oh, I'll do Scorpio last. and. I did cancer, I was like, no, do Scorpio now, and then I'll, I'll do Pisces next. So everyone gets what they're supposed to get. A pen that would work would be great. Blessings.